Phoenix Wright is a visual novel adventure game, cartoon legal defense simulator, and cult classic phenomenon. <laughs> Ace Attorney is just relevant enough for you to know who Phoenix Wright is, but not relevant enough for you to actually play it, so this is me trying to kick you in the pants and making you play it. In Ace Attorney, the player defends not guilty citizens who all just so happen to be being framed for murder in increasingly elaborate ways from an overzealous criminal justice system. The player will investigate crime scenes, interview witnesses, and cross-examine testimonies in court. To succeed in earning your defendant's acquittal, you must find contradictions between witness testimony and either your court record, which is your inventory, or your understanding of the events. Phoenix Wright wins the award for only game to justify slow text scrawl in the entire world. Because a thorough understanding of the sequence of events in the game is required to proceed, players need to slow down and comprehend every detail. There are times when I wish the game would get on with it, but if I skip anything, I run the risk of being caught clueless in court. Additionally, slow text crawl gives the impression that the character is speaking in real time, even if the speed doesn't line up exactly. Despite this, I would still advocate for a slightly faster text scroll. I think even doubling the speed would achieve the same effect, really. Phoenix Wright's mechanics are genius in that they force players to appreciate the game more in order to succeed. Players must understand intimate details of their investigations in order to find contradictions and testimonies, and, on their journey to understand the story, they are more likely to gain a deeper appreciation for it. It kind of sounds like I'm saying you have to look at the environments in a platformer in order to succeed in one, but in something like a platformer you really only need to see the platforms, and not the spaces they represent. In Phoenix Wright you must understand the story to interact with the story. And hey, Ace Attorney's writing is actually pretty good, despite having condescending, in case you forgot five minutes ago, black and white flashbacks that I was never in my life going to forget because this is Ace Attorney as I just described, Ace Attorney manages to write comedy which doesn't make me want to draw my eyes out, and tragedy which tugs at my uh, heart uh, strings. I don't know why I wrote it that way, but I'm gonna keep it. Now I must warn you, Phoenix Wright may be a logic-based puzzle game, but not every puzzle is created equal. There will be obvious contradictions, and there will be subtle contradictions which make you feel like a genius when you discover them, but there will also be testimonies which you advance simply by pressing every statement. Occasionally, a testimony will have a correct answer which makes no fucking sense at all! Some testimonies will have obvious contradictions which somehow aren't the correct answer, like you didn't think of that. For example, if the court just established that the murder weapon is a 45 caliber revolver which could dislocate the shoulder of an untrained assailant, and the prime suspect is a 14-year-old kid, the failure to acknowledge that the prosecution is claiming that a 14-year-old child fired a 45 caliber revolver twice without breaking any of their bones is a bit of an oopsie. Just a small one, though. I'm not smarter than the game creators just because I managed to point out a single logical mistake in their 20-hour crime drama. A few mistakes are okay, like the rare grammatical error, because the rest of the game is so charming anyway. Uh, but here's the thing. If you look up a straightforward walkthrough for Ace Attorney which tells you exactly what to do and when to do it, you will feel like an idiot. However, if you go to uhshints.com, you can find guidance to the correct answer without it always being given away. Universal Hint Systems hints for Ace Attorney aren't quite as elegant as they are for Western point-and-click adventure games, which was likely the original intent of the website, but being told where the general direction of the contradiction is still gives your cheating ass the pride of knowing which evidence most likely contradicts that statement. In the end, when I finish any given case, and I think back on it a few days later, I tend to forget most bonkers contradictions and simply think, yeah, that case is pretty good, I remember them fondly. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's a little rough in the moment, but you think back on it pretty well. You notice how I'm saying contradictions a lot? That's because that's kind of the, uh, the collectible in this game. That's the big point. I like that Ace Attorney is a visual novel that can still be called a real video game. Any visual novel I can think of off the top of my head either presents binary choices, which brings back to the main story, or simply is a pornographic dating simulator with a poor art style. But Phoenix Wright manages to have amazing sprites in a mechanic which has a large amount of possible states, effectively hiding the correct answer from being brute forced. During testimonies, your opponent has anywhere from 3 to 12 boxes of dialogue, and each box of dialogue, when pressed, unlocks their own branch of dialogue, sometimes useful, sometimes not. After that, each box of dialogue can be presented upon with any piece of evidence in your inventory and, in the second and third game, any profile in your catalog, either providing a generic fail state in which the characters make fun of you, or a win state which advances the game, or, in some states, a unique dialogue which cycles back to the testimony. You will also occasionally prompt witnesses to amend their testimony, which, in the first game, gives away which box to present on, yeah, the new one, but in later games you have the option to amend testimonies in multiple places, or sometimes in multiple ways, and it's up to you to realize which one gives you the advantage. 
The testimony cross-examination mechanic then provides the number of boxes multiplied by the number of presentable inventory objects amount of possible interactions. Most of the time that number is going to be above 100, effectively obfuscating the win state behind its thing. This prevents metagaming and forces players to use human language to interact with the game, which is something I thought wasn't going to be possible for another 50 years the way video games work. Frankly, such design deserves a gold star. Before Ace Attorney, you might have caught me saying visual novels aren't real video games, but apparently all they needed was an inventory system. I know text-based adventure games exist, but oh my god, no. <laughs> Please, no. I like graphics. I like looking at the funny characters. Look at this man. His name is Luke at me. <laughs> his name is Luke at me. Look at his sprites. They're the funniest thing. He looks so sharp and angular. This is, this is quality sprite work, dude. Phoenix Wright's emphasis on quirky side characters, as well as the experience of watching my friends play Phoenix Wright in a voice call, as well as well as the hit friend group classic Miles is on Fire by Jell Apocalypse, has taught me that doing funny voices is funny, actually. I thought they weren't for a while because I watched Game Grumps and Aaron straight up has four voices he's been using for the past seven years, but hanging out with my friends as Ethan plays and Acrostation does funny voices synergizes really well with the quirky, fun character designs of Ace Attorney and is good fun. Video games for babies on the Nintendo DS can be pretty hard to play sometimes. All of my Nintendo DS's have somehow managed to break in the same exact way, all of them breaking on the hinges, almost as if I've been closing them far too roughly over the past 20 years. Uh, thankfully, Ace Attorney is on Steam. Here it is, on Steam. Uh, the thing is though, the Steam version, it doesn't look as good as the Nintendo DS version. The art style is certainly usable, and it's not completely destroyed, but, but the Nintendo DS sprites really give the Steam version a run for their money. As an amateur artist, I can provide a surprisingly simple explanation. The line work of the Steam version is sloppy. Pixelated sprites look like they take a lot of work because they're made up of a bunch of little squares, of course. The characters were designed for Nintendo consoles, so of course they read better there. The drawings on Steam read perfectly from far away, just as the Nintendo DS versions were, because they are traces of the original sprites, but they have poor, stiff, unstylized digital line work, and always in black. If these sprites were hand-drawn, I would investigate the level of stabilizer these hard-working, talented artists were using on their copies of Clip Studio Paint EX. If these sprites were somehow translated from sprites to digital paintings using some kind of program, however, well, there you go. Don't do that. A computer has a hard time determining where best to draw the lines on a curve. Hard black lines for everything is a perfectly valid choice, but in the case of Francisca von Karma, it takes away a lot of the stylization colored lines added. And, oh wait, what is- oh wait, the shading? Wait, why is the shading, like, stiff, and there's only one level of it? In the DS version, there's like a gradient, and it looks kind of better. That deserves a fingal raggle. Also, Steam version, would it kill you to have a unique font? Ace Attorney is easily accessible and playable on Steamo, but as a contrary and purist geek, I'd heartily recommend the Nintendo DS version instead. Also, you can scream objection into the microphone, and that's hilarious. This fucking idiot. He says he didn't touch the murder weapon, but I've got his fingerprints. Oh my god. OBJECTION! <laughs> Alright, here we go. OBJECTION! Hey! <laughs> the Nintendo DS truly was the best console. I think that Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a unique, innovative, specific game, and I would recommend that you play it if you haven't already. I don't care if you buy it or not, but try it out in bed in a comfortable moment. Don't forget to play games you haven't played before once in a while. I know it's scary and dangerous, but your brain will thank you for the new experience.